Xi'an, Zhangji district's capital, situated in central China. Xi'an city, spanning an area of nearly 10,000 square kilometers, has about 6 million inhabitants. The city's name, Xi'an, has been used since 1369, during the reign of the Ming emperors. Prior to this, Xi'an was known as Chang'an, meaning the tranquil city. The name Chang'an was used for nearly 16 centuries, from the time of the Han dynasty to the beginning of the Ming dynasty. The drum tower, one of the landmarks of Xi'an. Built during the Ming dynasty period, this tower was originally a military outpost from which soldiers could sound the early warning signal of an enemy invasion. Today, the fully restored drum tower has become a popular tourist attraction in this historic city. Xi'an was once the capital of 13 Chinese dynasties, spanning over a period of 1,062 years. During the Ming dynasty, Emperor Ming Hongwu built this wall to protect Xi'an from invaders. The location of Xi'an at virtually the center of mainland China has made it into a strategic city. Xi'an, where the Silk Route began, provided the natural ground for interaction between Muslim Arab traders and the locals, thus introducing Islam to China. Today, from the six million inhabitants, about 131,000 are Muslims, coming from about 10 ethnic groups, the majority of whom are the Hui's. In Xi'an city, the Muslim inhabitants are estimated at about 53,000 people. This is the Muslim commercial hub, situated at Huju Lane. An estimated 500 Muslim food stalls and restaurants are in operation here. In a country where the Muslims are the minority, the problem of finding halal food is a common one. However, in Huju Lane, the natives have been selling and buying halal food for ages. The Hui's and the Han's are from the same ethnic group. The only difference is that the Hui's are Muslim, while the Han's are not. The Hui's and the Han's share a common language, culture and practice, except for those which are not in line with Islam. At Huaju Lane, Muslim tourists have the opportunity to enjoy halal traditional Chinese delicacies without any qualms. In the 1950s, halal traditional recipes from this district began to flourish with the publication of books such as Chinese Halal Recipes, the Hui's Cooking Book, the Complete Lamb Cooking Recipes, the Beijing Snack. These publications reveal halal recipes which are popular within certain Muslim ethnic groups. Apart from the Hui's, other Muslim tribes in China are the Uyghurs, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz, Uzbeks, Tatars, Salars, Bawans, and Dongzhangs. In Xi'an, the majority of Muslims are the Hui's. The halal food logo is displayed to make it easier for tourists to recognize a Muslim food shop. You can also find halal butchers here. One of the Xi'an delicacies is Yang Rao Paomo, breadcrumbs immersed in lamb soup. The Hui and Uyghur chefs are the ones responsible in promoting kebabs among the non-Muslims. The Huazhu Lane is also popular amongst the locals and the tourists, because here is located the Grand Mosque of Xi'an, a famous monument to the Muslim locals. There are 17 mosques in Xi'an, and this mosque at Huazhu Lane is the biggest. To reach Xi'an's Grand Mosque, tourists have to navigate this small lane, sandwiched by small shops selling wares for the Muslim community's use. Our crew was welcomed by Haji Yahya Ma Yi Peng, the second Imam of Xi'an's Grand Mosque. Haji Yahya also owns a shop not far from the mosque. 
Haji Yahya started studying Islam earnestly when he was 19 years old. Prior to that, he studied the basics of Islam at home and at the local mosques. A fluent Arabic speaker, he has studied in famous Islamic universities in various places, including Medina. Haji Yahya is also finely skilled in calligraphy, fusing the Arabic script with a Chinese tint. During our visit, Haji Yahya showed his skill by finishing a Bismillahi Rahman Rahim calligraphy in only about one minute. Haji Yahya usually sells his works for a minimum price. However, for us, they are free. Gifts to seal friendship between Muslims from two different worlds. Haji Yahya also has in his possession an old handwritten Quran, over 500 years old, which is still in good condition. He also keeps a 200-year-old Quran, written in the local calligraphy style. He used these calligraphies as guidance when he started learning calligraphy since he was a child. These two tomes were inherited from his ancestors. They were also translated into Chinese. All the verses of this Quran are still intact. Our crew was also given the opportunity to visit Haji Yahya's house, which is situated behind his shop. According to the tradition of the locals, guests have to be warmly entertained, especially when they come from afar and are of the same religion. After finishing his Sharia studies and having passed his examinations with flying colours, he was offered by the government to become the imam of this grand mosque. He is also a teacher at this grand mosque.
We also had the opportunity to meet with Haji Yahya's mother, who is 95 years old. There is nothing which can make a mother happier than having a God-fearing child. Her eyes reflect the hope that Islam will continue to be at the bosom of Chinese Muslims from generation to generation. Xi'an Grand Mosque is one of the biggest and oldest mosques in China. As a start, the mosque provides religious classes to children and youths. The Islamic class here is unique because its educational system takes into account points of culture, language and the local dialect. At a glance, it is obvious Xi'an's Grand Mosque fuses elements of Arab Islam with the Chinese Imperial Palace architecture. Xi'an Grand Mosque is also known as the Great Mosque, the Donga Mosque, and also the Huajue Mosque. It was built during the Tang Dynasty. However, the true date of its establishment, whether in the 7th or the 8th century AD, cannot be determined. Nevertheless, the popular opinion is that it was originally built in 742 AD. Its prayer hall encompasses an area of 13,000 square meters, which can house 1,000 worshippers at any one time. According to the locals, an emperor during the Ming Dynasty gave out an edict in 1392. We have proclaimed that every Muslim family will be given 50 silver ingots and 100 bales of silk. They will be moved to two regions with the building of two mosques, one in San Shan Road in Nanjing City and the other in Si Wu Lane in Xi'an City. They can rebuild them if ever the mosques fall to disrepair and nobody is allowed to go against this edict. The Xi'an Grand Mosque, one of China's most recognized historical buildings, is still intact even though it has stood for more than 1,200 years. This is because it was periodically restored during eras of Song, Ming and Qing dynasties 
and continues to be taken care of until today. This three-storey octagonal minaret is the Grand Mosque's highest structure. It was built during the Ming Dynasty. This mosque has one of the finest architectures in China. The design of the mosque gives peace and tranquil feelings to worshippers. The inscriptions on one of these monuments, dated 1405 Hijara, state the announcement of Haji Sai, the descendant of Shams ad-Din, about the proclamation by the emperor to build a mosque in the city of Chang'an. Our visit to Xi'an makes us appreciate the wisdom of Allah, creating humankind in various ethnic groups with different cultures so that they can meet, get to know and appreciate each other. Allahumma